this is the um, fifth Devil's Panties video blog, uh, and it is October 6th, 2008. Um, I'm not doing this at Gina's house because Gina is on her way back from um, Small Press Expo in Bethesda, Maryland, um, I think. And so she won't be here for the our usual get-together of Tuesday drawing, uh, life drawing, so I might as well just do this now. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not using her, I'm not at her house, so I'm not using her much better video program, so bear with me. Um, I've been a naughty girl. I've been a bad, bad monkey. Um, I was supposed to spend the weekend working on cartoons and stuff, um, getting caught up on, uh, drawing and, and the cartoons. Um, but a friend of mine lent me a book a while ago, and I know it's bad. I know it's really bad. Uh, so I'm one of the Twilight girls, uh, and it's all the sick 15 year olds going nuts over it and everything, and it is totally just ridiculous and stupid, and the fact that it's an entire book of just a girl talking to a guy at school, nothing really happens. I mean, until the end, but most of the book is her having a conversation with a guy in class. So it's, I liked it, it was, I hang my head when I say it was good, because it's just sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I read that this weekend instead of getting work done. Um, and yes, I'm looking forward to the movie. I just went on YouTube and watched way too many um, trailers because I should be, ooh, taking um, shipping to the post office right now and I'm probably going to um, miss that. So yeah, I've, I need to catch up on emails and post, um, post office and stuff. And you guys seem to like the cartoon about... Um, uh, hypocrisy. It was sarcasm when I said I was a hypocrite um, for getting upset with guys grabbing my ass. Uh, so, and I got a lot of emails about that and so I apologize if I didn't email anybody back, uh, as many people back as I usually do. Um, I got about 150 emails going, good job! So you guys seem to enjoy those cartoons where I'm angry and ranting and raving. So we'll get to some of the merchandise stuff. Our merchandise Spotlight of the week is um, mints. No glare. We've got a mint tin that has little, little tiny mints in it. So, I think I charged five dollars for them, maybe four. I'll go adjust that. So four dollars for a for a mint tin, and they're disturbingly strong. Very strong. Um, and then I've got some greeting cards. So we've got for Christmas or Thanksgiving, send your mom the, uh, beard or the kilt blowing or cute kitty one. So we've got those up on the store. And on Etsy, we still have the underwear. Um, and I have to admit, I don't know if you can hear the helicopters out back there checking traffic because it's 4.30. Um, either that or I had at one point there was a guy who had a car chase next to our house. That was exciting. Um, anyway, so the underwear. Um, I have to admit that I'm not being, <laughs> it's not sexist that the boxers are $35 and the underwear is $10 because this takes me about 10 minutes to draw, and this takes me about 30 minutes to draw. That and it's about three times as much fabric as this is. So I'm just being mean to people who have to wear more clothing. There's logic in there somewhere. So that is the update on the merchandise, and um, the update on book two is that I'm trying to get the uh, book back from Archaea and so I can go print it up myself at um, Transcontinental. So the goal is to have book two by Christmas, even though it's been a year and a half. Um, so that's the update on that. And I'm going to have book three sent to Transcontinental as soon as book two is printed up. So it's going to be close to concession. Okay.
and I think that's it. I'm gonna go check for um, cars being chased by cops by my house because the the helicopters are circling. Um, so hopefully we'll be back at Gina's next week, uh, and there'll be better sound and lighting quality. Uh, and I I read the thing for the next book of Twilight, and so now I want to go see how she defends herself at her birthday party. It's so bad. It's like soap opera. It's it's my own little 